Vitamin B12, cobalamin. It's required for energy, brain function, and many other functions. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, vitamin B12 contains the mineral cobalt. That's where, how it got its name, cobalamin. And the absorption of vitamin B12, unlike the other B vitamins, requires the presence of what's called intrinsic factor. Intrinsic factor is a little protein or a glycoprotein that's made in the stomach. And when you have a meal and the stomach secretes acid, it also produces intrinsic factor. And then further down in the intestinal tract, intrinsic factor helps vitamin B12 get absorbed. So um, some people, for genetic reasons, don't make intrinsic factor. So their B12, they have B12 deficiency because even if they put B12 in at just normal amounts, they can't get enough into their body. So these are the people who go for vitamin B12 injections once a month or on some level of frequency. Now the truth is, taking really high doses of B12 can actually overcome some of the intrinsic factor deficiency. So there's still an oral way to do it. But most people go for vitamin B12 shots. But here's the other thing. As we get older, the stomach makes less stomach acid. And so we then make, all of us start to make less intrinsic factor. We all become a little more prone to B12 deficiency as we get older. And then people that have, you know, dyspepsia and gastroesophageal reflux disease and gastritis, they take antacids, whether it's, uh, you know, a, a, an antacid or it's a proton pump inhibitor or, an, or a histamine blocker, whatever the drug is, it inhibits acid secretion in the stomach. And so as, when you're on those drugs, B12 deficiency is very likely to be an outcome. So, and, and B12 is really important. It serves many functions. It's required for red blood cell formation. Uh, lack of B12 can lead to megaloblastic anemia. Not that uncommon. You need B12 for methylation reactions. So many detoxification reactions in the body require B12 because methylation is part of detoxification. And for the brain to make certain brain chemicals uh, neuro neurotransmitters, you need B12. B12 also lowers homocysteine. If homocysteine rises too high, you end up with cardiovascular disease, heart, heart attack and stroke linked to high homocysteine levels. B12 is required to make creatine, which is a, a high uh, octane fuel, in, especially in muscle cells. Uh, so people become weak without enough B12. And B12 is required to make DNA bases. As cells replicate, they have to make a new DNA template. Without enough B12, you can't do it properly. You have chromosomal linkages that become weak that, that can, can uh, uh, break and mutations form, and it's an e easier way to develop cancer, actually. B12 is also needed to, to produce the myelin, which is the coating around a, like the, around a lot of the nerve cables. So um, the, the myelin sheath so your nerves can function normally. You need B12 for that. So deficiencies in B12. Which, and so many people have marginal deficiencies in B12. Anemia, neurological symptoms, depression in the elderly is a very common one that's reversible with B12 supplementation. A rise in homocysteine, greater risk of cardiovascular disease. We know cancer risk increases as B12 levels drop. Supplementation studies with B12 have shown that it's very, it's very useful in older people to reverse impaired mental function and to reverse sort of personality problems and, and, uh, and memory retention problems that older people get. There's, there's, there tends to be this gradual B12 deficiency that people show up with due to less stomach acid, we think, and change in dietary behaviors as they get older. But B12 has also been used to help treat diabetic neuropathy. It can improve low sperm counts. It gives you more energy. So it, it, it's a multifaceted B vitamin that you really need to be on top of. So you should click on the link below to make sure, read the article. It'll help you understand if you're ingesting optimal amounts of B12 for your situation and how to use B12 supplementation for various health conditions in a safe and effective way. Now remember that at machinohealth.com you'll see my other research review papers, you'll see footage from my live professional seminars, other resources and downloads I've created to help you lead a long healthy functional life. They're all there for free. All my research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references so you'll know you're getting only evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.